I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet Good morning guys, it is 5.32 and I was just lying in bed at about 5 o'clock and my water broke um, which is odd for me, that's never happened. I usually have my water break when I'm in labour already, so I'm not having contractions, I'm just um, leaking a little bit. So we're on our way to the house that I'm going to birth at, and my midwife will be there and we'll check everything out. I am a little bit concerned because my water had a little bit of green and, and yellow in it which means that, that there's meconium in it so I'm sure everything's fine but it's still a little bit of a concern so yeah I'll keep you updated. The time is 6.38 and everything started at 5. But we are at the house that I'm birthing at. And my water has ra it randomly broke, but that's about all that's happened. I'm having little contractions here and there. Um, but nothing that's like full-blown active labor, which is really different for me. And so Isaac just went and got us some McDonald's. So we're just cozy. It feels really different already. I'm just, I don't really know what to do with myself because it feels very different. Did you have your expectations that it was going to be a little bit different? I thought it was going to be like the boys. I thought I'd get home, I thought I'd be home and I'd just be in, I'd just pick up an act of labour. Like full blown labour yeah. and before you knew it yeah. you're having a baby. Yeah. I've already ended up using two things that Isaac packed in the <laughs> hospital bag. I, the towel and the pads. Going for a walk, we're trying to get this baby out. We're having contractions, but not enough. She has, she's repositioned, which is good. So she's wiggled into the middle. Um, but I'm just not feeling enough. It's about 8.30, is it right? Is it about 8.30? This is an excellent time to go for a walk. It really is, it's so pretty, because it's not too hot either. So that's where we're at right now. Just trying to wiggle this baby down a little bit more and get her will get me in active labor at least. You know everything that's recorded I don't actually put in my video. Oh I know. I, know I edit out I know a lot of stuff. pretty much everything I record yeah. you edit out. <laughs> I get it. I'm probably gonna put that in just because it's <laughs> <laughs> Good job, babe. Woohoo! Oh my gosh. Yay, did it! Woohoo! <coughs> He's still got it! Contraction in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. That one was okay, it was manageable. So, how long was that one? Oh, like 10 seconds or something, it wasn't long. It's been a few hours though, like we, we got this. Sorry. My water broke on at 5 and now we're coming on 9 o'clock, so 4 hours. So yeah, it's just we're just waiting for these contractions to pick up and I think the walking will help. Alright honey, what are they I about to do to you? I push out baby but I can't drink a smoothie. <laughs> I have to drink a... I suppose it's a midwife's brew, isn't it? Or a version of the midwife's brew. <laughs> Castor oil and peanut butter and champagne. You're gonna take this. Take this after. And then you can chew that up after you have this. And then if you wanna wash it so down. So do I do this, this, this? You can do this and then you decide which one you wanna have next. Oh my gosh. Wow. Or I can put this in here and you can just slam that back. But you do gotta that. drink it all. You can do that. Okay. Okay, we got our bowl ready just in case. Yeah, you got this, babe. Maybe if I just get out of my head. Just yeah, get out of your head. That's all I gotta do, right? Cause it is a lot of it's a mental thing too, of like, yeah. All right. You want to have a baby though, right? I do, okay. desperately. Turn it of back. Course. Go right. for it. Do it. And then eat your chocolate. Good work, babe. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And then 
it's right. just here in case you want. You got this. You're fine. I got It'll this. be good. I can do if this. you need to stand up and walk and give yourself some space, like if I can have a baby, I can down some cash. Oh, oil. yeah. So, okay. We you could do that walk again. That. Yeah, do that. I say that. Do that walk again, see how you feel, because you may want to come take an advert. Because that's what it does as well, yeah. right? It can get your. Yeah. And that's why, and then it, once that starts going through your intestines, it, it hits on your uterus, and it, you're just like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be here. Let's go for a walk back. Let's do it. Yeah, got this. Yeah, yeah, why are you walking like that? Because <laughs> I'm trying to get contractions going because she's just sitting in there. Now we're out walking again because the midwives brew has castor oil in it. It's meant to get things going. And that's why I'm lifting my legs and just trying to open things up to get her shifting down some more. And I feel like I'm already having a contraction, which is good. All right, so. you got this, babe. <laughs> Wow. Laurie checked me maybe about two hours ago now, and I was at about three centimeters, and she was able to open me up to like four centimeters. I just want the contractions more, and then just not have it happening as regular as we want them to, basically. So we're just trying to get things moving as naturally as possible, really. Essentially, that what it, that's what it comes down to. We're trying to have a natural home birth. We're just trying to induce me naturally. I've had contractions since not long after we left um, but I feel if I stop to think about them then I get then I start thinking about them so I want to just keep walking to get through them. What's my take on why you're recording your birth? Yeah. I think you're recording it so you can show people another way maybe the way we're designed to to do it rather than kind of fight the process nah. but Obviously, it's more, if this is really your battle in a lot of ways. But a big factor for us is, is going from New Zealand mm. to America, where we see how things are different here. Yeah, I think we, we both really liked the New Zealand system. We liked being really close to a hospital and feeling the security of doctors and nurses and the whole health system with their equipment and technology but not using that if it wasn't necessary yeah so it was really nice to be right near them but then have the only the small little relational unit of a midwife that's very experienced you know you've already met with her you, you feel close to them you feel trusting and then you're in this little room and then you feel like if something went wrong i'm at a hospital you know yeah. sounds like you're having a contraction i am <laughs> <laughs> i think that is important to note that this might not work for everybody you know, like there are those cases where it's a legitimate emergency. To a certain extent, there's some really great things that, like the hospital has brought some amazing things, right? Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of other countries have adopted that in a better way mm. than the US. I think the other countries have, have paired them at what they're good at yeah. rather than saying it's a one size fits all solution. And another thing that we don't really have on our side is the state that we live in because each state is run really differently. And there are different laws around midwifery, which is a real shame because I think midwives are the shiz. But yeah, that's where we're at. So we're timing contractions, and we had a pretty intense one here, a minute long, then a five minute gap, 30 seconds long, or about five minutes. It's good now because because um, I had some real like solid hard contractions and I'm losing more blood now, which is good too. So I think things are moving. I'm just gonna keep waiting for those contractions to intensify and then we'll probably fill up the bath and get in. Start we pushing. are at 12, 12.59. Mm. If you could make a prediction now, so you, you know, you had your first, like your water broke at five. Yeah. So. It's been a whole so day. When did you think you were gonna have a baby? I thought that I would have contractions throughout the night. <coughs> And then I thought that I'd have her by this morning. But judging okay. by what time it is now, I think I'll have her about three to four. Give but so far this has already thrown me off. So I could be... Pretty much two to three hours from now you think we'll have baby. I think so, but okay. I'm not... Okay. I don't know. I'm not confident with that either. So, yeah, I feel like I'm getting into those stages where I feel like I'm in a good, like... Not so much the rhythm, but the intensity is good. How's your, how's your head space? It's good.
We're gonna fill up the bath. You're gonna have a baby. You're gonna have a little baby girl. Sweet little baby girl. And then you're gonna be done with the season of your life. <laughs> oh, she's much lower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You need to be. I think the bed is kind of sinky. Oh, right, right. Six. Six to seven. Yeah. She's much feel, lower. I can feel that. Oh, I can, oh yes. Nice job. <laughs> You're a big son. I'm so proud of you. Good work.
it like that.
handled that like a champ. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Well, I kind of, I, I kind of started getting a little bit of a feeling that that she might not go into the zone of like I can't do this, right. and I was really, I was really proud of you. Like yeah. I feel like you just like. I, I was just speaking like that I got past it. Like you, you were strong, man. She's like, you're so sweet. Like you were like, this baby's coming out, and I'm, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Good job, honey. Oh, yeah. Good job, honey. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Give a deep cough, like, oh, like a real deep cough. <coughs> okay. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Now just let it float. Oh, yeah. We did it. We did it. Oh, look at that. Daydreams falling like rain 